Hello everybody. Let's see if I'm live. I'm about, I'm a minute early. No, I'm good. Let me share into my group. And we're going to wait for a few of you to pop on. And we're going to start. We're posting. Welcome. I see a set of eyes. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are, uh, today is October 21st. And it is 2 o'clock, 2.01, and this is our weekly Facebook Live Coffee and Cards. And I am Monica Gibberti with Stamping with Monica. And I am located here in Stafford, Virginia. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hope everybody's doing okay. And um, I couldn't wait to get on with you ladies and to show you what I've created as a, rem a reminder, uh, please make a comment, comment, like, share the video, and um, pretty soon I'm going to tell you um, why. Well, you know why. For those of you that are watching me regularly every week, you know that if you share my video, you'll be entered into the drawing for a stamp set at the end of the month. And uh, for commenting, liking, sh and um, um yeah, commenting and liking, you then be entered into the drawing for the cards that I am going to create today. Okay. Um, what else? Nothing. I think today we're going to just um, start crafting right away. Um, very uh, Two very simple projects. And uh, today I only followed the guidelines of um, our... For my team, the uh, the happy ba happy basement stampers, I follow the guideline for the creative challenge that we decide that was decided last week, and you will know soon what it is, but it's um simple and easy, and um, that's all. So let me grab the phone, put it on here, and hopefully I won't lose you, but say hello. And I hope everybody's doing okay. And if you're joining in later, just um, you'll be able to watch the live, uh, watch the replay on this page. And also I will post this video on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it would be nice if you did. Okay, so you will, you will also be um, receiving notification when I post videos. Okay, let me grab the phone and post it down here and put it down here. Okay. Just a minute, let me cover. If I'm doing it right, maybe yes, maybe no. Let's see here. Am I, am I upside down? No, I should be good, right? Let me see. Is this, this is, no, let me just flip. Okay. There you go. That was something different, right? Every time there's something different. I don't know why. I, you know, maybe it's the age. I'm getting old that I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to do when I do my lives. That is crazy. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. Okay. So, as you can see, these are the ladies that won the drawing from last week's. The cards that I showed you from last week, it was um, two different um, sketch challenges. And I used the Facebook random picker, whatever program. So every time you do make a comment, your name is included. So there you go. So these are the winners. Congratulations. And um, please know that all the comments, either you do it live on or if you watch the replay and make, a, and make a comment, they all go into the same drawing, okay? There you go, so congratulations. Today, I am going to, so the challenge for the, the team challenge was to create um, a card two ways, one for a beginner stamper and one for a little bit more advanced stamper. I, to tell you the truth, as usual, for me, it's 
more complicated to design a simple card than to create what we call for a so we have the beginner and then we have the avid is the last step and then we have the middle of the way that i don't remember how we call it but yes so beginner and so my cards are these okay so as i said it was a hard choice so this is my beginner card and this is what i consider the middle of the way because then i will show you what i consider the avid stamping and you will see why okay so as i said when we talk about beginning stamping beginner stampers are um, work or simple stamping we're just including ink paper and stamp so that's what we are doing with this one so just a regular no die cutting nothing just regular stamping and then when we have to step it up a little bit then we add different layers maybe different texture and then extra embellishment okay and then i'm, I'm going to show you at the end what is my style of cards and for those of you that <laughs> have been stamping with me, you know that this is this is kind of a um, not my regular stamping. But these are great if you want to create a lot of them. Like you know, it's time it's time for Christmas. Uh, if you want to start stamping, you can make a bazillion of these in no time because it's just a card base, the insert, a front that you stamp. A little embellishment there and done and if you want to step it up a little bit more then this is the other way that you can stamp still a lot because these are just straight cuts okay nothing major so no cranking into the die cutting machine but let me go ahead and, and start um, putting this one together and I already have the stuff so this is garden green very vanilla cardstock that is all two card saw colors this you can purchase this into the um, you know the um, the um, regals collection so you can get an assortment we have that in the in our catalog and this you can get a pack of very vanilla car, car stock or and a pack of envelopes and you have your cards if you want to add your embell embellishment you could but if you don't this is what it's going to look like and i think it's still a great looking card um but you know me i have to add layers okay what we're going to focus on today yet again we know that um stamping up is doing a sale on designer series paper and the paper that i designed that i chose to focus on is the 12 tidying designer series paper that it is a returning designer series paper from last year and this is these are all the patterns front and back so this is one sheet one sheet and one sheet so you get six different six different patterns one two three four five six and then they're double sided so one side is all in red and one side is uh, rear red and the other side is on a uh, with garden green and then very vanilla is the matching um car stock okay and i used the this designer series paper quite a bit last year in my christmas card classes um but the stamp set that i'm showing you today i did not use the stamp set and i'm going to show you why i mean the, the one and it is the this is another returning stamp set from last year, the Peaceful Bow. So this is the stamp set. I used the die cutting last year. This was brought in in the mini catalog as a bundle. Stamping Up has brought it back, but not as a bundle. The stamp set, I just put it together to, to create these cards, these cards, ladies. And I'm gonna show you a trick before I start stamping. And these are the dies that my husband loves 
so much because last year, if you participated in my um, holiday creative extravaganza in December and you made the wreath, uh, my husband die cut a bazillion of these <laughs> to make the wreath. So some of you might have, um, some of you that are on here today have participated in, in the in the event uh, and you seen you saw how many of these were die cut between the pines and the, the branches. So yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the trick. So this this stamp set is $23 and it's uh, number 150541. I will post all the all the details about this and I think that because I didn't use it much, I bought it because I fell in love, but with so many other stamp sets and bundles and beautiful um they were so beautiful, I I got the end of the season and it did not I did not touch it and I was so happy when Stampin' Up! decided to bring it back so here here we are we're gonna use it brand new so let me show you something that you pro probably already know, know or have seen from somebody else but I wanted to show you the way that um, the the latest discovery on how to mount stamp sets okay you know when you get your your brand new stamp set you get it in your rubber right here we're talking about rubber because when we get the photopolymer we don't have to do anything so you have all the bits and pieces here and then you take it out and then you have the, your your adhesive stickers right here your labels basically and here in this inside the case it tells you how to do it so it tells you to take the stamp set the stamp and peel this part okay this is the one yes peel this part off and then both of them and then put this one on but i saw something that i think and i in my case it happened that because i don't have a very good sight uh always it was always crooked so what i was doing i was peeling one side off and then take the entire sticker and then flip it and then put just one side where it still had the backing so I can move it and then stick everything when I decided that it was perfect still don't get it perfect but um, because you know that once these labels are on the on the rubber on the mounted on the stamp they don't come off they're permanent okay so and I just cut my fingernails so the way you're gonna do it so as you see you're gonna peel off this backing okay the sticky part is this so you're gonna go in and make sure that you release the entire sticker okay and then you're gonna stick it on your block and then either with your you pick tool or one of the our you're gonna do so pick it up peel it or use your fingernails if you have them okay then you're going to put this one down and now going all you know going straight from the top you're going to do so and then ta-da you have your beautifully placed sticker on the block don't you think this is a bomb whoever came out with this idea or not idea but the um, new way of mounting done easy peasy right and then I've seen somebody else you know you can always peel all of this back in here then you're gonna stick your rubber like so and then put your uh, stamps here and then you can see from the back what you have okay so this is another way a little tip or trick for you ladies if you you didn't know already okay and as i said it's not my original idea but i think it's just wonderful okay so let me start stamping for you this is my insert right here so i'm using i based my the decision on my colors ink pads based on 
whatever coordinates with the designer series paper that I repeat is on sale. Um, so garden green, real red, and very vanilla are the colors. So I chose garden green, real red, and then a little bit of an accent crumb cake. To me, these colors are, you know, Christmas to me. This is my favorite combination of color for Christmas. Okay, let me take all of it out here. All that I need to create these cards so I don't have to dig anything in there. Okay, so let me go ahead. The first thing that I'm going to do, the one that is easy peasy, I'm going to stamp my um, branches and I'm using the largest of them. So this is the large and these two, okay? I love the font on this one. I love the combination of the two fonts. Very, very nice. Okay, so you're going to ink well. And look, this is what is gonna go on the inside of the card. Done. Let me just repeat the sizes. This is a half of a sheet cut the long way. So it's four and a fourth by 11 scored at five and a half that is half of this measurement and then i'm just gonna go like so and this will go inside here and then i'll glue it later to create this it's just a matter of a little bit of stamping and so i'm gonna stamp my branches but what i decided to do i decided to not to go um actually this is what it this is what we're gonna do. This technique. No, not with this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it for this one too. So this is gonna go down. And I'm telling you what I did with this one though. No, I'm going to do it the, the original way. So the first thing that I did was to stamp off here. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna repeat exactly what I did with my card. So I created this front first. So stamp off, then a little bit here. So nothing special. And to tell you the truth, what I did first was stamping my sentiment. So I'm gonna redo it for you. So the first thing that you wanna do is stamp your sentiment and then play with the branch is okay so then you know that where to position your branches one right there stamp off this one I'm gonna go like so ink stamp off so with just two or three inks this one i think i did like so but anything can be, you know, I can change this. There. Nothing special about it, right? And then after I stamped this one, I said, oh, but I don't like the background being so plain. So what I did, and this is not the way you should be doing it, but I'm going to show you how I did it. And I think I went off, so I just eyeballed it. I balled it like so, okay? Because then this is gonna go like there. And I'm gonna eyeball this one too. You could do it this way, but I'm gonna show you the other way when we do the other card. Okay, like so. And here, I'm gonna eyeball it. Again, and it's all eyeballed. <laughs> I bought, <laughs> if it is a verb, you know that English is not my first language, right? Okay, and you can even just stamp it randomly without thinking about it, like I'm doing right now. Ta-da! Simple and easy. And then if you want to match one side and not the other side, nobody's going to know. Look at that. And then I'm going to take the splattering thing. I'm going to ink. Stamp off, ink, stamp off, and stamp, ink, stamp off, and stamp. Okay. 
and I think I'm done for this one. So this comes out to be simple and easy, really simple and easy. Actually, yeah, I can do it this way like so. Okay, and what else did I do? Then we're going to go with the pine cones. This is nice because there is no... There is no right or wrong because it's just a collage of stamping. So, and I decided to stamp off and on sometimes there. This is going to be like so. And I'm going to put this up here this time. There you go. Okay, done. And I'm going to grab the splatter again. Grab my chamois, clean it, because now I'm going to use the same stamp, but in, and then I'm going to just do, I love this splatter in here. Voila. Isn't that simple and easy? Yes, Patrice. I agree with you so and I went with dimensionals so this card is very simple and easy and here we go that's why we always say stamp everything at once and then glue because if you make a mistake you can always flip the paper and stamp on the other side right okay so, as I told you, this I chose this card to design this. Also, one, because I wanted to use a stamp set that I never used. Two, because I wanted to use the designer series paper that is on sale. And I think it is a steal for 12 sheets, $9.78. It's just a steal. Okay, so this is very simple and easy. Then I'm taking um, my linen thread and I'm taking glue dots. Okay, and I am going to stick it. Come on, my hands are like butter today. And pick it up. Then because the glue dot is a little bit too big, I'm gonna fold it on itself, keep it sticky, and this time that's where my thing is going. So this card is done, simple and easy. So I think this could be a beginner stamping, right? Um, for somebody that is new, okay? And then we're gonna glue down this and this card is done. So you can, what you can do, you can cut the card, card base. You cut these size for how many cards you want to make. You cut this one. And then when you start stamping with your branch, you stamp all over here. You stamp this one in assembly line. When it's time to glue it, the card is done. Simple and easy and done. So this is one. Okay. And... We're going to move on to the card that I define being the card for a casual stamper. Now, I remember the terminology. This is a, to me, is a casual uh, because um, we're not introducing any punches or any other die cutting, but we're introducing a little, you know, technique and also um, uh, we're roughing the edges. So something that is a little bit more than just stamping easy peasy like I call it so as I said here we go again so this time I chose to reverse to reverse the colors so instead of this car base in uh, garden green I'm going to do with very vanilla and reverse everything so I have my car base here I have my piece right here what I'm going to do I'm going to stamp on this first i'm going to stamp the sentiment in rear red okay love my rear red love it love it and i'm going to stay down right here hopefully it will be straight 
Yes. Now, I don't need any of this anymore. Now, I'm going to take this, okay? And this is a modified, like a three-way three stamping, they call it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just lay it down there. You could take a little bit of glue and then glue it down. But, okay, this time we're going to go full blast, okay? So I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to stamp it like so, okay? And then I'm going to stamp this one like so. I want this to come down a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp this one like so. And then this one, how did I do it? This is coming down this way. Basically the same stamping as I did before. Same way. Um, so this Okay, let's rewind. I designed this card first because <laughs> it was difficult to do the first one that I showed you. So I, I started with this and then I scaled it down. To me, it was easier that way. I don't know why, but that's how I function. Now I'm going to take a pair of scissors that are pretty much dull that you don't want to. And you know this technique, right? You can do it this way. I'm going to rough the edges and even cut a little bit through because I wanted to. You could use your fingernail if you have any. I cut mines and it doesn't really, they don't work. So here we go. So now that we're going to, I love, I like, I like this technique. So now I am going to glue this one on top. This one is going to go simple and easy, like so. See, I like this. And obviously, you can omit this if you don't like uh, my technique. And look, I finished the tape. And I can show you how to put this one together if you haven't seen it yet. So this is done. You can open it. Take this one and throw it away. Keep your cartridge right here. I mean, the... The container whatever the cartridge is the other thing that I threw away and now I'm taking this and this just goes inside right here it is simple and easy I was like <laughs> okay Monica I said that was simple and easy, right? It is. It just... What am I doing wrong? This is what I'm doing wrong. What? Done. Don't mind me. Today is not a good day. Okay, done. I had it right. Okay. I couldn't see it. So this is going to go like so. Ta-da! And one thing that I did not do, ladies, is stamping my, my pine cones. So we're going to do it now. Stamp off. Stamp right there. Stamp off. Stamp right here. Stamp off. And this one is going to go, I'm going to do something different. Let's see. Mm, here. Actually, this one is going to go a little bit more up there. Okay. Voila. And then I'm taking the same and doing my splattering. So, voila. Done. Okay. So I've stamped this in it. Now I'm going to glue this one down. And when we put it on, it does match. Okay, like there's a continuation. So it does, uh, you know, all match. 
like so. Okay, and I'm using my dimensionals in the back of this one. One, two, three, four. Okay, but before we go on, this these are strips of the designer series paper that I had laying around, and I thought that um, it would work well. You can choose to go this way, or you can choose to go red and then have red like so, okay? Or just go green on green. And I like the fact that the same images are exactly there. So this is gonna go like so. I'm gonna glue it down. And I used this strip just because it was laying around. I wanna use all my design series paper here. I save all the strips. I don't know if you guys are doing that, but I do save all my strips that I cut. Okay, voila. Now I am taking my linen thread, and before I just tied a bow, but this time I'm going to do my bow twice right here. I'm gonna tie a bow for you ladies. Voila, and I'm gonna take a pair of scissors that I had right in front of me, but I, okay, I'm gonna use these, even though my snip are over there. Okay, now I'm going to just move this around and I am not gonna glue this one down yet because depending on where I want to put my, where I need to center, see, there then I can always move it. Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good time. Thank you for joining in. Make sure that you comment, okay? Okay, let me see here. Am I going to, yes, look. Can you see? It matches perfectly. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit, actually. Just a bit up. I want that not to show too much, and there. That's where it needs to go, and down here. Okay. Yep. Ta-da! And now I want this one over here. That is done. I'm going to take my car front, same measures, measurements, and I. This is very vanilla. Car stock. This is the regular uh, thickness. It's not the um, the thick was uh, the thick um, very vanilla, but it works the same. And I am going to put adhesive in the back. And voila. So now this card is done. Could be done, but you know me, right? What is it missing? It's missing some embellishments. And these are the glitter, gold glitter dots that are, they came in last year and Stampin' Up! brought them back and I'm glad that they did. And so I am going to grab one of the medium size right here and put it like so. And then I'm going with these little ones. Stick one over there this time. And this one is going to stick right there. Okay. Now, let me finish the card. I didn't do it in my sample. But I can always stamp the insert there. Yes, bling, July. You're correct. And this is going to go like so. And voila. Simple and easy. Okay. So these are the cards that I wanted to show you today. And this was the, the, um, the challenge. My team's challenge. So create something that was simple and easy for beginner stampers. And then step it up. And I stepped it up to be a casual stamper to me, okay? 
And what I consider the, uh, let me flip this one because it's just yucky. And what I consider the Avid Stamper, this is my sample, completely, it's not different, but this is what I consider Avid, an Avid Stampers, a stamper. And actually this is one of the designs that I prepared for my uh, Christmas in October class. So this is one of them. And so um, if you're coming in person, this is one of the cards. You will receive um, an embellishment to use. Um, and then... And then, um, I'm, I was sorry, I was reading some of the comments. And so you receive, and then you make, so in the Christmas card class, in the Christmas in October class, because it's not only cards, um, my computer just went dead, and I don't know what's happening. Okay, if you're still there, I am still there, yes. I don't know what happened to my computer, so I don't see myself, so I'm going to keep on Hold on, ladies, because I need to see comments. I apologize. My, the screen just went dead. Let me just reload. Re-log in, because I don't know what's going on. Every time there's something new with this um, um, technology, right? So, yeah, as we're saying, so the Christmas um, in October, you make six cards and one 3D item. So I'll design three, three styles. You'll make two of each. Okay, if anybody's still interested, I have still a few seats because I'm going to limit it, the number of seats that I open for each section. One is on the 29th, that is on the Thursday morning, and the other one is on October 31st, is in the afternoon, and registration closes on the 26th. Okay, so this is what I consider beginners, casual, and avid okay you guys are going to be entered into the drawing for these cards right here okay and i just wanted to go over a few things before we say goodbye uh if anybody's interested in placing an order i know i have a lot of my um downline here following me thank you so much for um being here and uh, but if uh, there are any of the ladies that um are my customers and would like to place an order. This is the host code for the month of October. And from me, you will receive with an order over $40, you will receive my tutorial, okay? Uh, then uh, we have the sale of the designer series paper and this paper is on sale right here. If you share my video, going back into the ordering, I'm doing something new. I have an extra stamp set of the Hollows Night Magic. It's a brand new stamp set. And um, if anybody would like to re to get into the drawing for this one, uh, for every for a, uh, an order of $40 or more, your name will be entered into the drawing. And I will draw this at the end of uh, October. I know then Halloween is going to go on, but you know that this stamp set is just um can go beyond especially if you have the designer series paper the magic in this night but you didn't you just bought the paper and you didn't didn't want the stamp set so the designer series paper is on sale but this is for the chance for you to win into the drawing for every 40 dollars place you get into the drawing at the end of the month and i'm gonna give this one away it's completely new there and for sharing my video, you're going to get enter into the festive post stamp set. And this is a photopolymer. And it is a one that goes for, you know, different occasions from, yes, Halloween, um, Christmas, and even into Valentine's. Okay, so there you go. And if you make a comment like these are the cards that i'm giving away okay oh one more thing that i forgot if anybody forgot or didn't get into it um i still have one kit available for my known for the holidays that is my first month of the crafty club 
So I know registration closed yesterday, but I put in for and then I have supplies for an extra kit. So if anybody is interested, just contact me. It's $29 for a porch pickup or um, that's all because I the 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 car the class in person is sold out. I mean I filled all the seats and thirty five dollars if you want it to be shipped directly to you. The packet with the supplies cut up. Nothing is pre stamped. And if you don't have the gnome for the holidays um, stamp set, you can add it at the catalog price of nineteen dollars. Um, no shipping or tax that is on me as my thank you or you can just substitute with whatever you whatever stamp set you have at home I use blends in um, or coloring tools in red yellow and green just to let you know okay so one kit in case somebody wants it okay ladies I think this is all for day for today did I okay we started at 2 is 241 I don't think I, I took too much of your time, right? I hope you enjoyed the the video, um, learned something new, and um, hopefully you'll be able to go on and make your own cards. And if you do so using this idea, these ideas, make sure that you are posting um, and tag me either Monica Gibberti or Stampin' with Monica so I can see the projects that you're creating. Because I love to see what you come up with. These are very simple and easy layout. Simple, simple. And then this is my style. You know that, right? So this is something that you will be able to make in my card. In my Christmas in October card cl uh, class. Okay? I am done. I will post um, my link to the YouTube. If you want to subscribe to you my YouTube. As well as my... Stampin' with Monica group. I would love for you to do that. In the meantime, have a great week, ladies. I'll see you all soon, okay? Bye and thank you.